So yeah, basically we've got ourselves a nice super impressive WRX turbo 2 litre boxer uh, so engine pushing out nice millions of horsepower in the standard noise. form. We all love and a Subaru. Noise. And then we're going to basically put it into a Metro. Simple enough. Can't wait. Anyway, Crack on. Yeah. Well, we've got the car here. Uh, what we need to do now is strip it. Uh, I think we'll take the bonnet, the boot, the doors all off, all the big bits items. Scrap the bonnet, don't need the bonnet, don't need the boot. Got another one of those, a tailgate. Uh, keep the doors, we're going to need the doors. Front wings, I'm going to keep because I may use them as a template if I have to make metal ones or whatever because I don't have a full body kit yet for the 6R4. Uh, but yeah, gut the interior and let's see what we've got. Might even try a few 6R4 panels on it first, but yeah, I don't know how far we're getting this today but in the whole video hopefully we'll have the the, um, the body cut off that's what we're gonna do let's start stripping okay doors off have to try the bonnet again so yeah you can't see but obviously yeah the line was way different so yeah boom, boom, boom. already starts looking like a 6r4 you can tell with the different headlight shapes compared to the original mark one twos and I've obviously just popped rested a wing on as well as you can see need some spaces I know I shouldn't be popping these on now but just out to you and you you gotta keep your spurring yourself on in the drudge of uh, all this uh, stripping and it takes a while so yeah doors off they were put away because they're gonna need them and uh, yeah Okay, that's going to be the end of this video. We've got it off, as you can see there. There's the Metro. Here's the shell, just floating in suspended air. I won't show you my sky crane. You can see the bottom of it there. It's not the best. It goes up, but it seems to not come down now, so I've now got the body shell stuck up in the air. But anyway, it gives us an idea. You can see the uh, bit of rust on the uh, inner seals that we're going to have to sort. Maybe replace the whole inner seals with something else, or I've done it before. I've sort of made some inner seals out of two mil stuff. Um, we shall see. Um, we'll have to just uh, get it down onto some blocks once we get rid of the uh, the metro shell. And uh, yeah, go from there. So, happy new year, everyone. It's a major start. I'm not quite sure how much room we've got to do everything else, but we've got the shell off, so we've got time to work on that for now. And uh, yeah, hope you like all the bracing I put in. Lovely. Cool. All right. Till next time. Bye bye. We've now got a convertible Subaru. I think they should uh, catch on. Hey, it's already looking like a 6R4, if you squint. Obviously we're not a chop shop here, you know, this is proper workmanship, we're doing it on a level floor. Yeah. Rolling in my Scooby. Okay, light's getting bad. I do apologise, it's the end of the video. Uh, shell's nearly on. It's got to come forward more. So basically, once it's done, I think, basically that pillar will be the same location as that pillar once we've shortened the wheel race. You can just see the floor pan edge. Just uh, things, it's got to come down like an inch more if needed. Uh, obviously, we've got a bit of playing. So basically, I've just pulled the inner sill out, for the outer sill out at the moment and cut the inner sill off. So I'll have a quick walk around, but it's getting dark, I do apologise. But yeah, oh, smash the old likes, it's looking good. It's looking a lot better now, sitting a bit lower, so looking not too bad, as I said. I've cut the rear wheel arches out, I could cut more out yet, but 
as you can see, we've got to come way further forward yet. Another two, three inches further forward yet. Um, but yeah, these pillars need cutting out now. That's the next thing that's stopping me. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. So there's a lot of cutting. It's still only temporary in there at the moment. It's just on there snug. And uh, yeah, we're looking good. Yeah, do apologise about the darkness. But yeah, it's looking pretty mean from the back there already. Definitely 6R4-ish. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, hit the like. If you didn't enjoy it, hit the dislike. Share, subscribe, hit the notification. It all helps, trust me. Um, plenty of ways if you do want to support, check out the descriptions. There's all different ways you can support me if you want to. Um, but yeah, the main way is just by watching all these videos. So yeah, wow. All right, I'm knackered. I'm going to go have some dinner. If you did like what you see here and what I'm doing and it's just a bit of fun for lockdown and hopefully get you through things again you did it last time we, we got over 600 likes so if you could hit the like button that's at least you could do if you could do that that'd be brilliant and that really does help and if you want to become a patron and other supporters or send me just beer money I don't mind either um, but yeah it's like and hit the subscribe if you don't do that anyway you get notified so yeah till next time 6R4 WRX Metro. One quality short and prop shaft. Still need to weld it yet. But yeah, I don't know. It'll do, it'll make the car good drive forward and backwards out of the garage, that's for sure. Whether we can get any faster or not, who knows, but uh, yeah. Good, good, good. And look, I don't know if obviously the new people obviously know this is a bench. Um, obviously the older people that have been subscribed for a while knew there was a bench here, but couldn't really see it. So we've had a bit of a tidy up. And uh, yeah, okay, a bit, you know, it's a lot. It's pretty good for me. Uh, so yeah, my heart says we should, uh, or brain's trying to tell me that we should try this on the car before welding it. But I just want to get the welder out and go. All right, guys, all right, guys, you're telling me, try it on the car, try it on the car, Mackie. All right, I'm going to do that. Okay, got the Ford hoop bar cut. Just resting in there, it's just dropped down a fraction at the back there. It needs to be lifted up. Again, it's all a bit of a compromise because obviously this was just a generic kit that they've ordered up. Uh, you know, if you, oh, if you were doing it properly, you'd, or you know, if you had your own bender, I'd maybe have a sort of a bit more of a kick out coming down the door pillar there. I think it could do with a bit of a different angle, but you know, it is what it is. I think we can maybe get away with it once we've got the roof bar in and welded to the bottom, we can maybe just pour to power it a little bit out, just in the in the corners there. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. Slow old work, roll cage. I was hoping to do more, but it is what it is. All right, we've got it out. Not looking too bad. Every time you drive it a little bit more in and out, you get slightly less clunks, which is always a good sign. That's how I tell if I'm nearly finished. When you get only one or two clunks, you're pretty much done. So uh, yeah, the roll cage is looking good. Next stage now is to position the body 100%. Obviously, as we said, we're just sitting on there. We can lift this, this you know, it's all just sat on at the moment. We can just lift the, the uh, shell off. But yeah, roll cage ain't looking too bad from a distance. Little cross beam in there, lovely. I've still got the dash bar to do. And I'll push those out. As you can tell, if we go to the front here, so if the wind's gonna, once we push those out more, obviously, ideally, I would have gotten bent correctly, but it's all a bit of a guesstimate. Asking for a friend, why are these pulleys so much bigger 
than those ones. I mean, depth-wise. Obviously, that's quite skinny there. Why are these got this bit extra on them? Why are they thick? Hmm? Hmm? Just asking for a friend, that's all. Just wondering. Just wondering. Any Subaru experts out there? Must be a reason. Maybe there's some sort of... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's because I think the cylinder... Oh, they're cylinder heads. Um, they're offset, aren't they? So that cylinder head is closer, if you see what I mean, to the phone. Yeah, there's more of a gap. So I guess, even though the cam belt should be the same position, I'm guessing like sort of the head's further forward, so actually they have to be recessed back because obviously the cams are the same length. Yeah, don't think I can do anything about that for my friend, can I? We can't thin them down anyway. Just out of interest. Oh, look at those bad boys. Gonna have no caliper clearance now. Did notice that I may want to replace the pads before I do my first rally. Yeah. I don't think they've got even a stage left in them. <laughs> yeah, look at those. <laughs> Oh, P.S. These are the little pizzas, deep pan, 85p. Wow. Okay, there we go. Just through the uh, driver's door on there. Gaps are a little bit good. It's not even bolted up. So, uh, yeah, do excuse it. Lots of shut lines, not quite right, are they? But I'm sure we can do something with that. That's what Tiger Seal was invented for, wasn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, purists won't say it, but looks like I own a 6R4. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, know, I keep saying yes. But yes! 6R4! Not a 6R4, I know. But it's mine. Oh, it's nice for something to go my way. I had a, an old temperature sensor. Oh, Jesus. Old temperature sensor. Um, off a digital dashboard. Sitting in my toolbox. It's been in that toolbox for 15 odd years. 20 years nearly. Um, yeah, sorry Jimbo. That was your temperature sensor that you kept asking for many years ago and I never dropped it around. Anyway, hopefully you don't need it now. I'm using it to block a hole. Also picked ourselves up some aluminium tube. Got another one of these at home. And a few, a few silicon bends. Um, I thought I might have needed more of this for the funk, but I actually we only need to make the short bit down here, which um, someone kindly pointed out. I used a um, cow birthing aid, piece of scrap metal, um, but I'm definitely gonna need some link pipes at the back to go from underneath to sort of all around the side of the fuel tank to the radiator. And we've got to modify the radiator. So I need to get to the back and try and see, see if we can think about mocking up some lines. Or he's alive, eh? Or gender neutral? I don't know what Frank is. But, uh, yeah, that one's only just rested in there. That's why it doesn't look very well. That one's better, that's for sure. But yeah, that's nice. Look, even the bowls came that work. So uh, yeah, we just need to try and fill this one a bit more, get it back a bit further. But yeah, that looks something about it. You get get some lights come on. It really, sort of like brings the car alive, even though it's one of the simplest things to do. So yeah, we're doing good. Just while we had uh, that headlight out, we got down and put a little tack brace bar in to hold this front support that we've made. Uh, so once we take all this front bumper off, that support bar should stay in the right position. We can then obviously work out how we're going to make it bolt onable while top off of all. Whoops! <laughs>
Oh, it's very orange. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, orange and green. That's what we're doing. To my dad. So, uh, yeah. I don't think we need all of it. So, we mix a small bit up. Give it a couple of coats. We can always mix up some more. And, uh, yeah. So, I won't film the painting because I'm no good at it. And it's all dangerous. And you shouldn't do what I do. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, come back in half hour. And uh, see something painted. Oh! Yeah. Paint, first coat, obviously a bit blotchy on the top. But hey, it'll look better in a minute. Got a bit of crap in that side. I must have, uh, surprisingly, uh, got a bit of, picked up something somewhere. Not too sure why. But anyway, it's orange and it can be polished back. Looks like looks good with a bit of colour on it. <laughs> then I remembered I needed all the brackets on there and everything to hang it up in there just still fine. Although seems like that black paint's gone off. Alright, time for a cold drink. Yay! Sorry, I didn't feel much of that. Took up a bit of a two mil plate strip. Basically put it onto there to form a box section and the box section goes all the way past the tower strut and it goes a bit thin at the front there it just doesn't need it because obviously all it's doing at the moment is holding the headlight up so yeah just a bit of strength there where the tower is i don't know i don't think it's going to pass any euro in caps but we're not going in for any of them it's a rally car so yeah do apologize i sprayed a bit of that satin black that goes on just had some of that laying around so i thought i just i think i'll just do the wheel arches and everything black anyway because i can't be bothered to paint them and also yeah we might stone chip it we've got some of that uh, we've got all sorts of stuff left laying around I don't know if it's still good actually got some grab attacks there I don't know it feels a bit maybe it just needs warming up in a in a hot bottle got some of that we may spray some of that on especially once we get the underside of the car done and um, we can get it right up where we've uh, rejoined it at the back get that all stone chipped and wrapped to the lovely so, yeah, oh, it's hot, hot work doing this. Again, thanks for all your support while I'm here. Uh, all the patrons that just uh, support me every month, unbelievable, you guys. Uh, yeah, some people have suggested me doing a walk around video of the car, which I try and do. I might try and do that tomorrow night. I should do it this afternoon, really, but I'll do it tomorrow night. Um, and then I'm ready to hopefully I can get that out Wednesday because I've got to uh, do a lot of work, real work, Tuesday. And Wednesday, so I'm not going to get time. I normally get a, a Tuesday evening on the car, but I'm not going to this week. But then, normal res service resumes next Saturday, hopefully. Welcome back. It's Saturday. It's another day with Frank. Okay, I just felt the thermostat come in, I think, near the engine change. And also, the different pipes are getting warmer. About 60 degrees at the moment, so that's, yeah, the top hose is just starting to get warm now. Just a little bit. Revs, baby! Revs! Okie dokie, took it for a little spin. Temperature's staying good, got the water pump on full. Getting some slight turbo smells but that could be something burning under the bonnet or it's just because i've got no windows and doors on so oh there's some smoke let's turn it off okay double check the battery yeah i don't know it's stopped smelling now so we're, we'll give it another go let's see wait wait till something catches fast so we can actually see what it is uh hopefully you can hear all this 
I'm going to try and drive with the microphone on now so you can hear me because I quite liked it just now when I drove it. It went like bat out of hell and I wasn't even trying. Okay, the farmer from Sean the Sheep is signing off. People are coming past now. Hide. Hey, we're getting there. Twin fans, twin exhausts. Yeah, OCD people, I should have put the exhaust in the centre, but it's all going to be covered up, so don't worry, you won't be able to see it. So yeah, I've knocked up some pipe work, quite close to the anti-roll by that side, but again, uh, it's not hitting it, and it should just be rotating anyway, so should have all be good. Uh, used a little bit of 6mm to try and position the uh, exhaust, and uh, by a while I then built this middle section. I've sort of just put a little sleeve just around this end section at the moment. Could do with a flange that side, really, because then you can, you know, remove it. Could do with a flange on the back box, I think, really, because it's one whole section, so it's going to be a bit of a pain to take out. And then, I think, uh, but we'll find out when we uh, try and remove it in a minute to fully weld it. But yeah, I've left a little a sleeve on that just so we can then tweak this and work out the length easy. Um, and I can just quite do a little tweak of the angle of the dangle um, once we look sort of sideways to see if the uh, the tips are parallel but yeah I think 110 mile an hour I think you ain't gonna notice oh we need to get this welded up so we can hear it yeah <laughs> rev it when it's cold because that's what you're supposed to do ah oh, at least it all works and I found the cables and everything if I can't overlay that in video it's just gonna suddenly appear here I'm not too sure. There's, there is a mic, I think, but we'll find out. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Say hello, Nathan. He's a Nathan. I taught him everything he knows about welding. Okay, yeah, it's not as much hooning around as I wanted to. I wanted to go somewhere else. But uh, as I said, it was all a bit busy and uh, we really need to get this somewhere where we can a bit more open space. So, uh, I think that's just a water pump going. Let me go turn it off. I don't like the colour. Uh, we've got ventilation. Okay, we've done the business. Well, Dad did. Sorry about the sun. The sun's come out now. Wind's died off, which is all good. Side steps, wing doors. We've got the side pods drying over there. Tailgate, not too bad. Yeah, there's some ripples in it, but I think even the standard uh, 6R4 has ripples in the sides, wings. That was all matte green. So yeah, cheers dad. That's a farm dog. That's deaf. Can't hear nothing. And yeah, how long the paint's going to stay on? I'm not too sure because I didn't do a brilliant job of scotching it off. But we'll have to just see. And yeah, got to load it all back up now and get home tomorrow. And uh, we can start fitting the panels. Waiting on the... I'm getting some silicon strips sealant extrusion made. For those so uh yeah we'll uh, just have to go from there but yeah dad keeps saying looks like army green which, yeah cheers dad 
Huh? Yeah. yeah, not too bad. I just, I shouldn't have done it, but I just stuck a door pod on just to have a look at it. Uh, yeah. I bet you scratched it. Oh, well, it covers up the scratch that you put in there with your fingernail. Might then fall off. And... Yeah, so I've got a couple of screws on this. When it's all in one colour, it makes so much difference in it. Unbelievable. Yes, I didn't follow my own reasoning of putting the step on first, but hey ho, I had the door laying around, I just wanted to get it fitted. But yeah, apart from taking the dust off, it's not a bad colour match. Shouldn't be, so uh, yeah. Thank you for all the support, everyone. It's uh, looking like something, as I said. Somebody just walked past just now. You got a Metro 6R4? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. What's good? The orange matches the roof. So anyway, it's come to the end of the day. We've got the indicators working. They're growing on me. I don't know what you think. And, uh, but yeah. Brilliant. We're going to wrap up now and, uh, get this edited, uploaded, and ready for your entertainment. We're going to do a bit of the Jeep tomorrow, so there'll be a Jeep video during the week. Uh, might do another bit of camera van. You guys seem to be wanting a bit of everything. So, and again, we do keep doing Frank. <laughs>